this is Jess from makeanddocrew.com and we are going to learn the moss stitch which is also known as the linen stitch, the granite stitch, and the woven stitch. And that's because it indeed looks a little bit woven. So to do the moss stitch we need an even number of chains for the base chain. Any even number would work. I have 16 chains here. And to begin, we're gonna do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's my first chain. Here's the second chain. You can work into any part of the chain that you like. I'm gonna do right there with a single crochet. And the entirety of this stitch is made up of alternating single crochets with chains to create little windows. So I just did a single crochet, so I'm going to follow that up with a chain. And because I did a chain up here, I'm going to skip a chain down below. So I'm going to skip the next chain, and I'm going to work a single crochet into the next bottom chain. So we just created our first window. After that, I'm going to follow it up with a chain, and I'm going to skip a chain on the bottom. So I'm going to work into the next stitch with a single crochet. Again, I'm going to chain up top, so I'm going to skip the chain down below and work a single crochet into the next chain. I'm going to follow that with a chain, skip the chain down below, and put a single crochet in the next stitch. So as you can see, we're ending up with little boxes and these little windows are where our single crochets in the next row are going to go. So I just did a single crochet. I'm going to do a chain, skip the chain down below, put a single crochet in the next stitch, chain, single crochet, chain, I'm going to skip this bottom chain so that I end in the very last chain with a single crochet. With the moss stitch, we're going to want to end every row with a single crochet, regardless of where we're at in the pattern of single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain. There are other ways to do this, but what I like about doing it this way is that it results in a nice, clean, and substantial edge on the piece of, on the edge of your work. So it's less apt to get stretched out and look kind of wonky if you wear it or use it in some way. So we just ended with a single crochet at the end of this row. And now we're going to turn it and do one chain. Now because we need to start every row with a single crochet, I'm going to put a single crochet in the first stitch there, even though it was a single crochet from the previous round. Normally, and from here on out and for the rest of this row, we're going to work our single crochets into our windows. But because it was the first stitch of the row, we needed it to be a single crochet. So I did a single crochet here. Now we're at a window. So I'm going to put actually another single crochet. And I'm not doing a chain in between these. So I just put my single crochet into this window. And I'm going to follow that up with a chain. And then I'm going to skip the single crochet from the last round. So if you remember before, every time we did a chain up above, we were skipping a stitch down below. Now that we're on the second row, what we're skipping is the single crochet from the last round. And that allows us to come over here and put a single crochet in the next window. So what I've done here is a single crochet to begin the row, a single crochet in the window, then I've done a chain, to help me go over the single crochet from the previous row. And then I'm going to put a single crochet in the window. So because I just did a single crochet, I'm going to follow it up with a chain. So I will skip the single crochet of the last row and put a single crochet right here in this window. Follow that with the chain, skip the single crochet and put this single crochet into the window. Again, I'm going to do a chain, skip the single crochet, 
put a single crochet into the window, chain, skip the single crochet, put a single crochet into the window. And I'm going to chain, skip the single crochet, put a single crochet into the window. Now we're at the end of the row, so that means we need to end with a single crochet stitch. Normally in the pattern, because I just did a single crochet, I would do a chain, but the chain would have nowhere to attach to. So instead of doing a chain, I'm going to put a single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Every row is going to begin and end with a single crochet, and then you're going to work get into that pattern of single crochet chain just as quickly as you can establish it. So I ended with a single crochet, and I'm going to do a chain. And now it's the beginning of the row, so I'm going to put a single crochet in the first stitch. And now there's a single crochet right here. So instead of working in that, I'm able to establish the pattern right away. So I have a single crochet, so that's going to be followed by a chain. And I'm going to put a single crochet in the next window. So every other row is going to be able to be worked entirely in the pattern. So this row, we were able to just start with a single crochet, which meant we could go to a chain, single crochet, chain, I'm skipping this single crochet, put the single crochet in the window, work a chain, single crochet in the window, 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 and now that I'm at the end of the row, I have two stitches left, and my next appropriate stitch would be to do a chain. So I'm going to do a chain, I'm going to work a single crochet into the very last stitch of the row. I'm going to flip my work over and start with a chain. Since I always start every row with a single crochet, I'm going to put a single crochet into the second stitch from the hook, which is my first single crochet here, and that's a single crochet. Now if I chained here, that would land me right in the middle of a single crochet to put my next single crochet, and that isn't the pattern. The single crochets need to go in a window. So instead of chaining, I'm going to follow this single crochet with another single crochet, because that's what helps me establish the pattern as early in the row as I can. So I've done a single crochet in the first stitch, a single crochet in the window, and now I have a single crochet right here, so I'm just going to chain over it and put a single crochet in the window. Again, I'm going to chain, skip over the single crochet so I can put my next single crochet in the window, chain, 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 and a single crochet in the window. Now I'm at the very last stitch of the row, and what would be normal in the pattern would be to do a chain, but there would be nowhere to put it. So instead of leaving that hanging out there, I'm going to end the row with a single crochet. So to summarize, every other row is going to begin and end with two single crochets in a row. And what that allows us to do is have a nice tidy edge um, that's very clean and straight. So one row is going to be just like the pattern. You're going to start with a single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain, and end with a single crochet. The next row will always be start with a single crochet, work another single crochet, then get into the pattern, so you'll do chain, single crochet, chain, single crochet, and then when you get to the last two stitches of the row, you'll do two single crochet stitches in a row. That is all there is to the moss stitch. I love the texture of it, and I think it looks great in one color, but it also looks nice if you alternate rows of color because they sort of get woven together. Hence the other name for the moss stitch, which is the woven stitch. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out my blog, makeanddocrew.com, for more free patterns and tutorials.